Hey everyone, this is Sarah from The Style Blog and today I wanted to do a haul for you guys because you all really love them, as do I. It's just fun seeing what other people buy. Um, so I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly because I have a lot, a lot of stuff. I bought so much stuff. Um, I have like tons of makeup, I got tons of MAC stuff, um, some Sephora Ulta stuff. Um, I'll just give you a little preview of all this stuff really quickly. Um, and then I got some body wash, moisturizer, face wash, and then some clothes from Forever 21. So, I have a lot of stuff, so, um, let's get started here. Um, okay, first I got this MAC blush, and it's a powder blush in style. You can see that there. Um, and it's just like a pinky, peachy, corally kind of salmon color. I hate to use the word salmon when talking about products you put on your face, but, um, it's, and it's a frost, so it's really, really pretty. I really, really like it. It's what I have on right now, um, and it is just really pretty. I really like it. Um, basically this time I went into MAC and I just told the lady, hey, I just want to try something different, um, just m match me with a blush and an eyeshadow, and I just got what she told me to get, so I didn't, I just wanted something completely different, which that's different than what I've been using. Um, this next thing I got was an eyeshadow from MAC, and it is All That Glitters, right there. It is a, like, a light brown pink shimmer. Here, I'll show you on my finger here. Um, it's really, really, really pretty for your lid. So it's really shimmery, it's really pretty. Um, I have it on the inside of my eye here both sides. So it's just like a shimmer, pretty pink, brown color. I think everyone should have it. It's a really, really basic color and it's so pretty. You could wear it with like basically any look. And I use a little for my highlight. I don't know if you can see that anymore. I've been out in the snow and sleet all day, so, you know, whatever. Next I got a paint pot from MAC. Um, this one's pretty boring. It's just in soft okra. And uh, it's just, uh, find a clean finger. It's just the color of my skin. So I use it to cover veins in my on my eyelids um, and use it as a base for my eyeshadow. Next, I got this MAC Coat in Naughty Mascara. You guys are like, hopefully she doesn't talk about that again. I love this. And if you want to hear more about it, watch my tutorial. Um, on Not tutorial, but my review on it, and um, I'll link it. Here is the... Mascara. Okay, so you know how last time I said that I went and I said, can I have some, ho can I have some hot and naughty? And then um, the makeup artist he said, oh, you mean hot and naughty? So I was like, okay, that's fine. We'll call it hot. That makes sense because it's French. Okay. This time I went and I said, can I have some hot and naughty mascara? And the makeup artist said, um, you mean hot and naughty? Okay. Mac makeup artist, I love you. I love you lots, and you're awesome. But you're all either gonna have to get together and decide what you want to call it or not correct us when we say it wrong because no one knows what to call it. No one knows if it's supposed to be hot or hot. So anyway, that is my mascara because I was out of the last one. Okay, so here the next thing I got was a MAC lip stick and then it's called, it's in the color Hug Me. Yeah, you can't see it because she wrote a B there. Um, because I back to mac it. If you don't know what back to mac is, go to maccosmetics.com and I think it's under giving back or something and it tells you about it. You take six, um, empty containers back after you've used the products in them and exchange them for a lipstick at any normal location. So, anyway, this is the color. It's like a brown, pinky, nude color. I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> if you can see it. Um, it's just, it's really pretty. It just finds your lips a little. It's not dramatic. Not crazy. It's just good everyday lipstick, so... Okay, uh, next I got these two Stila eyeshadows. Um, I ordered these pots, and one came with Stila on the front, and one didn't. But they both say Stila on the side, let's see, and on the bottom. So, I don't know why that happened. I don't know, do you guys have these kind or these kind? Who knows? Anyway, so, and you know what? I would have to pop these out to see which one's which. I will put it on my blog which one's which because I'm not really sure. I don't know why they really do it like this. Why don't they just come in like the little pots like Max? I don't, I don't know. But anyway, 
these two colors were being discontinued and I'd heard such great great things about them that I had to buy them because I knew there would never be another chance to get them. So one's called Nanda Devi or Devi D-E-V-I and the other is called Kalu. Um, you know, I'm not saying those right at all. I will put the names up, I promise. Um, go to my blog or I'll try to put them on this video. Anyway, um, this one is just a nice coffee brown, dark brown color. It is pretty dark on, so if you want a dark one, that's good. And then this one is an, a lighter brown, more subdued. Um, they're both really pretty. You could probably wear them together. Be pretty. Um, this lighter one right here, I'm wearing on the crease and on the outer edge of my eyes. If you can see it, I'm wearing it with all the glitters. So this works really well with the, all the glitters. If you have that MAC shadow, you may want to consider... Well, I don't know if you can get these anymore. You probably can somewhere. Anyway, I like these. Uh, next, I got an eyeshadow from Urban Decay. It is called Midnight Cowboy. Okay, this is their best-selling eyeshadow color. So, I figured since all these other people like it a lot, I would like it too. So, I got it. And I knew it would be really shimmery because look, whoo, that's crazy. It's like psychedelic disco. Um, but I didn't know it would be this crazy shimmery. Like, it has the th chunkiest glitter in it. I don't know why, really, that they would put such chunky glitter in an eyeshadow because it flakes off and goes under my eyes and on my face all day long. I don't like the whole glitter on my face look. I don't really think that's very popular right now. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of this. Next, I got this. Okay, my mom loves Jane Iredell. And um, I think it's mineral makeup, so it's really good for your skin. And she gets it from her dermatologist. She always tells me she's too old for MAC. So this is what she uses. Anyway, so when she goes, she gets me little prizes. This is called Jane Iredell Mystical. Mystic Coal, and um, it's just like a double-ended shadow liner, basically, and it's in the color Amethyst, if you can see that. Um, the ends look like this, it's just like a, I don't know, the color is in the bottom of this, so it picks it up when you screw it back on. Here, this is, it's Amethyst, so it's a purple, but you it doesn't look purple at all, you can't tell it's a purple. It looks maybe like a dark navy gray, or um, I don't know. A, even a black, like a soft black. This one, it doesn't have a color name, it's just called highlighter. So, um, there's the highlighter and then the bottom is the amethyst. So, they're pretty. I haven't tried them yet um, and I will try them and let you guys know somewhere on Twitter or something how I liked them or do a review or tutorial or something. Um, because it's really neat and I think it would be cool. I just have to play with it a little bit. Um, okay, that's all for my makeup. And next I got this Monroe Teasing You brush. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these or not. But I, I've seen them in so many people's videos that I just had to get it. Because I like teasing sometimes. Like if I'm going to pin my bangs back, I'll tease them a little and then pin them back. So like you basically just take your hair and back comb it. And then get a little volume. Anyway, it has these two different kinds of bristles. I wish I knew more about these. I don't really know much about them. It's my first teasing brush. I haven't had a brush just for teasing before. So, um, anyway, I could do a tutorial on this too. If you guys want to see tutorials or reviews on any of this stuff, just let me know and I will do my best. Okay, next I got a couple things from just the drugstore. I got a Walmart because Walmart's really close here and I love it. Um, okay, first I got this dual action moisturizer. I was in a hurry and I just needed a cheap moisturizer. I didn't want to go buy an expensive one, so I picked this up. I didn't know that it had salicylic acid in it, and so it's for treating acne. And I don't have tons of acne, so I just wanted a moisturizer that I could apply at night because it is getting like really dry outside, so my skin is drying. Um, this one I put it on my face last night. Okay, I took a shower, washed, took my makeup off, and then put this on. And it burned my face so bad. Like, I don't even have sensitive skin. So I don't know what was wrong. But it burned forever. And I was, like, laying in bed, like, please stop burning. So um, and it made my face really, really red. It wasn't red when I woke up, but when I put it on. So maybe I had an allergic reaction to this. I don't know. If anyone's tried it, let me know. I'm going to give this to someone because I obviously cannot use it. Um, next, I've heard really great things about this St. Ives... Um, apricot scrub blemish and blackhead control I've never tried it they were out of my normal Olay face wash so I got this to try 
let you guys know if I like it. Um, let me know if you like it. I've heard I've heard really good things about it. Um, and then last from Walmart, I got this Crest Daily Silk Body Wash. Um, I've used other Crest body washes. I've basically I've used every body wash. I don't know why I can't just stick with one. I have to try different kinds. But um, anyway, silkening body wash smells good. So. I don't know, it's just a body wash, whatever. Okay, next from Forever 21, I got this necklace, which I mentioned in my outfit of the day. It is just a cross and a ball with rhinestones on it, it's on a gold chain. And then I got some cardigans, this gray one. I took the tags off because I was gonna wear them and then I ended up not wearing them, do you guys do that? Um, it looks a lot cuter on than it does me holding it up because the ruched sleeves make it look kind of weird, but they look really cute on. There's that. And all these things were under $12. Like, two things were $12 and one thing was $9. I don't really remember which one's which. This um, little cardigan I just got. It's nice and flowy. It's it's really pretty if you put a belt around the waist, you know, your waist when you wear it. So it's brown. I don't buy many things that are brown because everything I have is black, but I thought I would give it a try. And then I got this um, vest. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But um, anyway, it's really cute. It has, like, these little... Ruch, this little ruching right here and here and it's just a, like it's kind of cream colored it looks white on the camera but it's cream colored so um I'm trying to look I think I got everything which is amazing and I hope this video isn't too long anyway um so check out my blog for a list of all these and the colors and what I'm wearing and what, what makeup I'm wearing and all that good stuff that you want to know um I'll link it and then um follow me on twitter too I have a twitter I don't know if anyone knows that but I like to tweet, and I'd like to tweet you, and I'll follow you back also. It's at Sarah Style Blog. I'll write it down here and link it. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye!